stop it. What a gorgeous Thursday it is. And not just because Pete Hegseth is here. Yeah. He's so hot, AOC wants to ban him along with gas stoves. He's so hot, he could be my twin brother. <laughs> You know it. I'm exaggerating. Anyway, I'm way hotter. We're going to tackle the whole Biden classified document scandal in mere minutes. But first, let's do this, shall we? The audience decides the story. <laughs> yeah, we're the only show that does this. Probably for a reason. Here's a refresher. I'm going to give you two topics, and whichever gets the most applause wins. Very simple. By the way, it's the same way Pete picks out a Speedo. <laughs> Just opens the drapes. What do you like? Yeah, nice, huh? All right, topic one. Barclays has raised the U.S. GDP in its first quarter forecast, <laughs> sees a mild recession led by the rise in private consumption. Okay, let's hear your applause. <laughs> oh, sorry, sons of... Eh, not jazzed, I take it. All right, here's the second story. We got an update on the Canadian high school teacher. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I guess it's out of my hands then. And it sucks. It sucks. I got to tell you, because we actually had three qualified experts on remote <laughs> uh, to explain the economic forecast. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Look at him. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Get lost, nerds. <laughs> Roll it, Janet. If it happens up there, we report down here. You're watching Gazumba Gate, Canada 2023, week 17. Yep, it's time to cover the other Golden Globes. <laughs> As usual, here's a quick mammary summary. She, what's once a he, began identifying as female last year and started wearing massive prosthetic breasts to class. The school board still stands behind the teacher. <laughs> no other choice. In the unlikely event of a water emergency landing, your shop teacher can be used as a flotation device. We're trying to tackle this topic with some measure of professionalism, and that measure is 68 triple D. Is this truly a trans teacher, or is it a prank that's gotten way out of hand. The shop teacher was recently pictured in all her immense boobery skydiving. This story is getting bigger and bouncier. <laughs> and that it is, because now we have an update. The Halton District School Board in Ontario voted unanimously to ask its education director to develop a professionalism policy that includes a dress code. This in response to the trans teacher who appears to identify as the Grand Tetons. <laughs> You'd think such a code would already be in place or at least, you know, instituted months ago. You know, in September, after this brave little show decided to tackle a story that basically scared off everyone else. Yeah, Fox and Friends, put that in your oatmeal and smoke it. I mean, we're talking large breasts here. How large? Well, the cast of The View likes to stand next to them to appear thin. <laughs> We've been doggedly covering this story for months, and it took until now for a dress code to be drawn up. The trucker protest got shut down, shut down in weeks, but knockers the size of 18-wheelers outlast most marriages. But the long overdue policy might end up like basic instinct when it runs on network TV, completely watered down. They take out all the good parts. Because the director of education says the plan will be drawn up with the help of employment law firms with human rights and equity advisors. You know what that means. It's going to suck. It means that anything that asks people to do something they don't want to do must be obviously discriminatory. Says the superintendent, quote, even if a dress code is implemented for non-discriminatory reasons, it would likely be found to be discriminatory. What does that mean? You weirdo. 
but it's because of you jerk offs who really believe we can live on a planet where nobody's feelings get hurt and where everybody has to agree on everything and everything has to be decided by committee. Is it really so much to ask that teachers refrain from wearing prosthetic breasts so big they're being considered as the site for the next Winter Olympics? <laughs> Who would it discriminate against? Lactating hippos? <laughs> in other words, you can now indulge a fetish in public in front of kids, because wearing enormous prosthetic boobs is now a human right. So what does that open doors to? Imagine a biological female teacher coming to work with a massive prosthetic penis strapped to her person. I'm imagining it right now. <laughs> well, good luck teaching Trig with that rig. But it's time common sense prevails. That's all we really want. Either way, the school board is expecting an interim report next month and a dress code policy in March. Till then, the udders that make you shudder, they aren't going anywhere. And as sure as the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, when it comes to giant boob stories, Gutfeld does it best. Thank you. Thank you. I deserve it. Let's welcome tonight's guests. He routinely checks his tattoos for typos. Co-host of Fox & Friends Weekend, Pete Exit. She's way too credible to be doing this show. Fox Business correspondent Jerry Willis. She considers Red Bull to be a sedative. Fox News contributor Kat Tim. And he's never under the weather. It's under him. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. Pete, I, I believe, is this the first time on the show that you've talked about this? We, I don't think we've ever talked. We've done this show, this topic probably more than any other topic. And, ever. Uh, ever, ever. In the <laughs> history of this show and the weekend show. We did, we did two topics. Uh, we did two shows on Ukraine, and we've done 20. On <laughs> That's true. That's our brand. Greg, I, I've tried for months to get this story on Fox and Friends weekend. <laughs> really? Months. I believe that. They won't touch it. Why not? Because I love ratings and they don't. Yes. <laughs> and you, you clearly do love ratings. And I didn't know you had a crack investigative team. We have on been this. on top of this like a cross your heart bra. <laughs> wow, what a reference. Like a bro. Huh? Like a bro. Uh, this is totally unsurprising mm -hmm. when you live in a world where standards are not allowed. Objective truth is not allowed. So, yeah. of course, the inclusion and equity advisors get involved, which means everything must be included to include yeah. wearing that on your front. Mm -hmm. uh, it will, this will not work. He or she will uh, file for discrimination and the school district will lose mm -hmm. because everyone's lost their Friggin' mind. Yeah, and unless unless this is a long game prank, which I still believe. The guy went it could the guy be. went skydiving with Canada's only right wing porn star. Who does that? I'm with you. I think it could be a yeah. long term. And, prank. and if that is this this person wins the Nobel Prize. And there'll be a guest on this show. Oh, oh they, they'll have my job. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you're a business reporter. I'm sure you've been following this like very closely. Welcome um, to I, the show. <laughs> yes. I'm going to talk about something serious. Companies, do, did companies stop having dress codes? Like if I came to Fox and wore... I, anything goes. Anything goes, right? Anything goes. Mm -hmm. You can't have rules anymore, to your point. Mm -hmm. uh, it just doesn't exist. But I was, you know... Uh, doing my research for this very topic, as you know, I read all the notes. I'm yes. a business reporter. I know how to do this. And there was one phrase I could not get past, mm -hmm. and that was Z cup. Yes. A, B, C, D, Z cup. Mm -hmm. I just, it didn't compute for me, yeah. and I didn't get past I only that. hear that when I go to a coffee house in France. <laughs> uh, the Z cup of, uh... <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. glad I fed you that. Thank you. No, it was, it was uh, the worse my jokes are, the happier I am. <laughs> Why, I'm never depressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you, I mean, so this, so, uh, um, do you believe this is real or do, okay, is this a fetish, this, in my opinion, 
This isn't a real trans person. It's a fetishist. And a fetishist indulges a specific it's kind not, of thing. It's not about what you wear to work. This is not about what you wear to work. I'm yeah. sorry. It's not about a dress code. A dress yeah. code is something totally different, yeah. right? Am I yep. crazy? Or yeah. No, no, you're not crazy. No, no. I don't, not crazy. She's I, crazy. I think... You're nuts. All right, Kat. One of the things that I argue always, and you have too, is like, if he really wanted to be a woman, he would choose to look like a woman, not a caricature of a woman. This isn't about being a woman. It's about uh, creating a, getting off on being looked at. Would you, would you agree with me? <sighs> <laughs> Just do it. I want who, okay. Canada, like, don't sue, please, because then we're gonna have to talk about it more. Mm -hmm. I'm very disturbed by something in this story. It said um, an interim port is respect expected next month. Yes, that's not looking good for me. <laughs> <laughs> and how is it possible that we know so little, really, about this person? Exactly. Why is Isn't this person anybody on anybody in the Greater Toronto area? <laughs> have, have you spoken to this person? This does not appear to me to be a shy person. No, no. <laughs> but you know that if you take a picture of him in school, you will be suspended. That is a fact. High school kids cannot take but a picture. I did know that. Again, you've got, I, I, I'm really dialed into this. <laughs> yes. For my job, which I, I never imagined when I was in school. Like, what do, you wanna, <laughs> what do you wanna do? Why are you in college? I didn't see this <laughs> in my future. But how is that possible? How is it not even anonymously, like, does this person have neighbors? Does this person have, you know, somebody, they got an omelet at a diner? Yes, they wear I, this on anonymous the weekend. Anonymous yeah, someone or so. He can't drive to work in that. He can't drive. <laughs> so he's obviously changing in the parking lot. I know that, like, we always say, like, you know, you sometimes can think Canada's not like a real country or whatever, but they do a really good, they do a better job of locking down information about this Canadian boob teacher than, like, our government officials do with actual classified information. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. See? See? See, you don't want to talk about it, and then you bring it home with some brilliant analysis. Because I have to, to get paid and have health insurance. Yes. <laughs> uh, remind me about that health insurance. Thing. I got to talk to you after the show. Oh, I use it. Yeah. Not anymore, though. We're changing it. that. <laughs> Tyrus, last word to you. Come on. <laughs> What? You're a strumpet. Why am I a You're strumpet? A dirty little <laughs> strumpet for this story. I am, I am. <laughs> I won't lie. And you're part of the soiree. You're all strumpets. <laughs> And we and we fell we fell for it. Dress code. Yes. What's gonna cover that up? A tent? Like what? What turtleneck is gonna cover that up? Nothing. There's no dress code. They just, they don't have the guts to say, take it off. Right. It's inappropriate at school. What language so, do you use in the dress code? Exactly. They, yeah. you cannot cover don't up. Don't wear giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, if your nipples are 12 inches wide. Yes. <laughs> unless you have a doctor's note, you can't have them at school. God, you have to have some sort of medical issue for <laughs> 12 inch wide nipples then where everyone will go aw and not take pictures of it. We have to blur the nipples that the students see. They can't blur it themselves because the they're- The nipples blur their eyes. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.